Hello folks, it's Swaino again. I thought um, we might try making some jam. So um, I've got lucky enough to have this amazing tree, lots of them actually, in my backyard. And this is called a Suriname cherry and it's from Brazil. And these little things, oh, look, where are you? Yeah. They are really high in vitamin C. They're sour and sweet, like a strawberry at the same time. Weird, but mm. zing! Oh, that's the seed. There's a big seed in the middle. But anyway, it makes a beautiful jam. Beautiful. So I'm going to get as many as I can. Doesn't matter if it's a small amount because it um, you can do jam really quickly. So any fruit that you might have growing in your backyard is good. Um, and I'm just going to go around these trees here. There's about three or four, and I'll just see how many I can get, and then uh, we'll um, we'll cook it up. Hello, welcome back, folks. It's cooking with Sveno again, <laughs> trying to keep occupied. I thought we'd make. I've got my Suriname cherries. Uh, there wasn't that many because this is the third pick I've done of that tree, of those trees. So um, I haven't got many. But then I thought, hey, it's probably better just to make a jam with whatever you have hanging around. And because of this incredibly unique situation we're in, the world is in at the moment, you might not be going to the shops. Um, so maybe you've got some fruit that's gone a bit irky. Uh, so anyway, I'm just taking the seeds out of this Suriname cherry and you just squeeze them out. And all the juice is falling into this pan. So some of them have got a few worms in them, but it doesn't matter. A few worms won't kill you. bad jokes at the moment god all right so so that's not enough really to make a decent jar of jam so i just thought what have i got so i had a look in the fruit bowl on top of the fridge and i've got these very suspicious looking um passion fruit you know but the bad go the outside goes bad first doesn't it so just have a look inside what it looks like oh look delicious it smells so good so I'm going to put in passion fruit as well. So we're keeping on a sort of tropical side. Suriname jam, passion fruit, and this old banana, which is lots of bruising inside. It's not too bad actually, not too bad. But I thought we'd put that in as well because the banana jam is a thing. So I'm just gonna put that in. How's my knife skills? Uh, and I'm just going to put in the wet rest of the passion fruit seeds and all. Because I'm thinking um, you might have run out of jam. I don't know if you eat jam, but I know my kids have it occasionally. It's nice with cheese, um, jam and cheese. So I'm just going to make this. And so the principles are the same. If you've got all the same fruit, then fine. Um, just going to get all that in there. Right, so now, ooh, I've got a lovely fruit salad. And that much, so, you know, me being notorious for not measuring things, um, if you wanted to with jam, you could. I'm just going to guess because, okay, come on, who really cares? We're just going to make a jam. And if it's too runny, then so be it. Um, and if it's too hard, so be it. Okay, so all you do is you've got that much jam, that much fruit, whatever you've got. I'd put the same, a bit less than that amount in your pan. Okay, so. I'm just going to do it by sight. I reckon it's about that much. Okay. 
Now, because if I was just using the cherries, something really tart, I wouldn't bother putting in lemon juice because I think there's enough, um, uh, oh, what's, the, what's the stuff that sets jam? I can't think, anyway. Sometimes I would put in a squeeze of lemon if the fruit is not that acidic. So because I've put in banana, I'm also gonna put in a squeeze of lemon, okay? Um, oh God, I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, um, okay, seeing as I've got seeds in the passion fruit, I've let the lemon seeds go in as well, but that's good because that also helps set your jam. That's it, give it a stir. I forgot to bring out a spoon, but the knife will do. Actually, this knife, this is the best knife. Six bucks from one of those cheapo shops. And it is so good and it sharpens really well. I don't know. So now I'm just going to put that on the heat, on my gas flame out here, and um, we'll do a different angle with the uh, camera. All right, cool. Okay, we're back folks, and um, it's lemon juice doesn't have a lot of pectin, um, and your fruit might, so sour fruit um, might not have as much pectin. What, what the sourness does is lower the pH of your jam and um, neutralizes the pectin chains in the fruit. So... Um, and that will help set your jam. So that's why you put lemon juice in, to low, lower the pH. There you go, you learn something new every day. And um, anyway, I'm just gonna let this bubble bubble away until uh, it's looking more like a jam, okay? So the jam, it's getting there. It's only been going for about five minutes. It's starting to look thick enough. Um, I used uh, raw sugar in this recipe only because I've got mostly raw sugar in the cupboard. If you want to have a retain the bright colour of your fruit, like say, especially with like a red cherry jam, then you would use like a white sugar because it, um, it doesn't colour the jam so much. Um, anyway, but in this situation, because I've mixed up the fruit, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using raw sugar and... Um, it's getting there, see, it's getting there. It's very close now, then we're gonna bottle it. Okay, I think it's almost done. See, look, it's sort of breaking apart there. I reckon that looks pretty good, and I reckon that's gonna set beautifully. Let's go to the table. Okay, looks really good. So I'm just gonna tip it into this jar. The liquid's so hot, you don't have to worry about sterilizing your jars, just make sure they're clean and dry. That liquid's so hot, it's going to kill any bug in there. Bug jokes again. Okay, and then, these are very handy too. Um, I'll put a little tag at the bottom where you can get these online. Hodges and McClellan's. Exchange stores. All right, so put your lid on and hopefully this will work. It won't all go everywhere. Invert your jar. Ooh. 30 seconds because bugs are killed um, 30 seconds at 71 degrees and or um, two minutes at 67 degrees. So that is at over a hundred. Um, I didn't actually test with the th thermometer, but you can test with the jam thermometer that it gets to 116 degrees Celsius. Um, I think that's going to be okay because these cherries are so tart and I'll put the lemon juice in as well with the banana. I think this is going to set. You can tell by sort of looking at it that it's going to set. Um, you know, it looks like a, like a almost like a toffee um, so you get it before the toffee that's been about 30 seconds that's sterilized the lid now so we should get nothing growing in there um, if you use less sugar which you can if you've got really sweet fruit um, if you use less sugar then once you open your jar 
just keep it in the fridge and that way um, it won't go bad. But you know, do it in small amounts. All up that's taken about you know 15 minutes from beginning to end and um, do it in small amounts and just make it fresh every now and then when you've got fruit lying around. Okay, hope you like this jam recipe. Please subscribe, the button's below me. <laughs> All right.